Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Salam and if you're returning, what's good? I hope you're well and today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the pros and cons of having a four year gap between your children, okay? Now, for those that don't know, I do have a five year old son and a five months old son. Now, the reason why I'm saying it's a four year gap is because when I gave birth to my, to Ola, who is five months old, Ayo was four years old, okay? Throughout my pregnancy, he was four years old, so it's a four year old gap, okay? Okay, maybe four years old, 10 months. <laughs> Anywho, without wasting any time, let's get right into the video. Okay, so I'm going to start with the disadvantages because um, the advantages sort of like outweighs the cons, okay? Now, this is my personal experience and the first disadvantage is the fact that they're going to have um, little in common and obviously this is because the five-year-old and the five-month-old, their lives is totally different because the five-year-old has been living longer, he's got new friends, he's um, been through the baby shark phase and he's now in Paw Patrol and different um, TV series that he likes, um, they have different toys, so yeah, they will grow up um, to have little in common, but not too much, but yeah. Now, the second disadvantage is the fact that um, they eat different things, okay? And it's going to be a little bit challenging for me to prevent the little one from eating things that he's not supposed to eat. For example, sweets, um, junk food in general, because um, my five-year-old... <laughs> This video is going to be all over the place because I have a five months old with me in the room. But anyway, because um, the five year old, obviously, he I allow him to eat sweets now. I allow him to eat, you know, chips and other stuff. So the baby obviously can't eat that. So there might be, you know, a little bit tears here and there for when the baby starts recognizing that the five-year-old is starting to eat things that he can't eat so i need to strike strike a balance with that and i don't know where to start but we'll make it work so that is one of the disadvantages third disadvantage is the fact that they have different toys okay now this can be a problem it, it's not a big issue but it can be a problem when the baby starts crawling and the five-year-old actually has a lot of um, Lego toys. He's got a lot of little building blocks toys and the little one might not understand it and wants to eat. You know how kids, how younger kids are, how younger babies are. I don't know if you guys can still hear me because this little one is just making noise and I'm going to try to ignore him throughout the video, okay? So um, what I was saying is that the little one might try to eat um, the big brother's toys and that is not a good thing because I mean these are small little particles and small little objects that he might swallow and choke on. So that is one of the disadvantages of having um, such a huge gap between your children okay but i will try by all means actually i had a discussion with my husband that we need to start um decluttering some of um ayo's toys and make sure we put it away because when the baby starts crawling we don't want him swallowing small little legos okay <laughs> now the fourth disadvantage is that they have two different tv programs okay now it's already becoming a little bit of an issue because when it's time to watch TV, the little one wants Baby Shark, the older one wants to watch Paw Patrol, PJ Masks and all those toddler um, cartoons. Whereas the little ones, it bores him. He wants baby stuff, okay? And his favorite is Baby Shark. So the, the older one always complains, can I please watch what I want to watch? So it be it's becoming a little bit of an issue. And yeah, that's one of the cons. <laughs> Now the fifth disadvantage is the body shock on my side, okay? Now, <laughs> you guys, when you take care of a five-year-old or a toddler, I know it's it, it's you know it's it's a lot of work. However, it's not as tedious as taking care of a little baby. Now, when I take care of a little baby, you need to be extra careful with every little thing because obviously they are still small and they're not independent and stuff like that. So every little thing you need to sterilize, you need to wash, you need to do this, you need to do make sure everything is clean, and just the body strain for me 
I was not used to that anymore because I was raising someone who's much older so now the body shock of having to sometimes wake up in the middle of the night night to breastfeed sometimes to have to like for instance right now I'm filming and I can't tell him to keep quiet because he doesn't understand whereas if I'm with my five five year old I can literally just tell him can you just please keep quiet I'm, I want to film or can you just go and watch TV or go and play or go and do something now that is one of the disadvantages okay right now we're going to move to the advantages and I think I have about I actually noted everything down I have about eight of them and the first one is that when big brother goes to varsity in the near future the house won't be too quiet we still have this little one at home so that's i think that's an advantage i don't know to some people it might be a disadvantage but um, i know with my parents um, we have such a huge gap between myself and my little sister and my little brother as well We have a 10-year gap between my sister and I and then a 13-year gap between my little brother and I So when I went to varsity at least the house was not too quiet They still had my brother and sister and now I even have my own family and my little brother is still at home and He still is completing his high school now. So I think that's an advantage. I don't know my mom thinks it's an advantage <laughs> I think it's going to be an advantage for me as well so yeah depends which way you look at it <laughs> okay now advantage number two is that big brother is more independent he's self-reliant he can take care of himself he can do a lot of things by himself so it's not like i'm taking care of two babies at the same time and yeah i feel like that's an advantage for example um he can switch on the tv for himself he can make his own sandwich he can just maybe sit down and read or learn how to write like right, right what he's doing right now he's learning how to write and yeah i think that's more and also he can he doesn't mess on himself for example he doesn't need me to change his diaper and stuff like that he just goes to the toilet himself so that is like an advantage okay uh, so i'm not changing two people's diapers that's an advantage right <laughs> the third um, advantage is the fact that the big brother can actually take care of his little brother for example um, if I'm going to take a shower and my husband and helper are not around um, I can just ask my my first son to take care of his little brother while I take a shower or I need to cook and nobody's around it's just me and the two boys if the, little, the elder brother can actually take care of his little brother they can play together I need to do something quickly um, the elder brother can step up and assist i think that's an advantage and i read and he really enjoys it you guys like it i think it just builds his confidence that i can take care of a human being he just loves it i, I don't know he just loves it now the fourth advantage definitely has to be um the fact that um during the day when my five-year-old ayo is at school i actually give the baby undivided attention and um i think that is fair because Ayo had all the attention when he was alone, undivided attention. So the little one, at least he gets um, that undivided attention during the, the day. So um, I think that's a great thing. Um, that's, an, that's a pro uh, as compared to when you have small kids that follow each other or a year apart or two years apart where they're both at school or where they are both at home. You can't actually um, give um, any of them undivided attention. However, I do give Ayo undivided attention as well. We go out on dates together. He loves them. Even though when we're together, he always says, I miss my little brother. But we, I do give him undivided attention. We go out on dates together. We go shopping together. So I think that's pretty fair. So the next advantage is the fact that uh, my five-year-old, well, then he was four years old, he recognized my pregnancy. You know, he knew that I was pregnant. He knew that he can't just jump on me. He can't just be rough on me or whatever. He knew that uh, mommy can't do certain things because she's carrying a baby inside. It was just so beautiful, you guys, um, just to watch him, how he processed the whole pregnancy, how he would come to my belly and talk to his brother and rub my tummy and massage my feet and just make sure that I'm okay and take good care of me okay like he was just learning from his dad like whatever his dad does he would do the same okay now that was like a bonus because he actually recognized that mommy has a baby in the tummy and i actually explained to him sir can you keep quiet please <laughs> he says no <laughs> so the next um advantage is the fact that 
my five-year-old well then he was four years old was coping without me while i was at the hospital and this for me is definitely a pro because i wasn't obviously he wasn't breastfeeding he was at home he wasn't needy even though we did miss each other oh my goodness i miss him so much and for those that don't know i did have a c-section so i had to stay longer at the hospital so i cannot imagine if he was younger and he needed me to breastfeed him and just be there you know you know how clingy babies can be so i think this is def definitely an advantage he was at home with my sister and he was good okay we we're talking over the phone video calling so i think um having an older child was or is definitely an advantage okay the seventh pro is um, the fact that when you go out, I don't need to um, carry a lot of things in the diaper bag. For example, if you're going to church or you're going to the park or somewhere else for the day, I don't need to carry like 10 diapers in the, in the diaper bag or I don't need to carry um, extra a lot of extra clothes you know unlike um, when I have young or if I had younger children I'd have to and they're both on diapers I'd have to carry like a lot of diapers a lot of wipes a lot of bibs a lot of ch uh, extra clothing so um, I carry what's enough for Ola with the baby and then with Ayo I probably just carry like um, extra jacket if it's going to be cold nothing too hectic so that is definitely um, an advantage now the last uh, pro or advantage is for us career women who um, nine to fivers this sort of like um, gives you time for example in my case uh, having a four-year gap for me it was a it was a advantage because um, after giving birth to my first child i had time to um, study i had time to um, um, attend courses i had time to go back to school while i'm working that for me was a major major advantage because i needed to um, upskill myself i needed to you know um just get more certifications for my career so my career was not a, at a standstill because i had to um, um nurse another baby so um this is definitely a plus for me i don't know um if it's for you uh if if, if it helped you having a four-year gap but also uh, I'm not saying that having kids um, closer to each other is a disadvantage for your career. I'm just saying it was an advantage for me because I had a lot of things which if I had a younger kid, I don't think I would have coped. If I had two kids that are under two, I don't think I would have coped with my school, with work, because I had a lot of work, you guys. Like my work, it was a lot. I don't think I would have coped. So um, having the four-year gap helped me a lot. Went back to school, did my courses, and by the grace of God, four years later, I have another baby, and, and I'm really glad, you know. And yeah, uh, that is all for this video. I do have quite a lot of advantages, but I'm going to end it here so the video is not too long. Let me know if um, you're a career woman and you do agree with this or you disagree and why you disagree. If you have a sibling and you guys have a four-year gap, a four-year gap, what are the advantages and the disadvantages of your relationship, of just everything in general between the two of you? I'd love to know. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share with your friends and family. And until next time, bye. Hey guys, my name is. <laughs> oh, wait. Is this even gonna work? Huh? Hola. Uh-uh. No. Go to daddy, okay?